Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Destiny and today I did an install on this Tanache hair um, curly bob wig. It is a 14 inch, but all of the details on this hair will be in the description box. Um, if you watch my video, I made a video called DMing companies and asking them for free hair. Tanache hair is one of those companies that I DM'd on Instagram and so they sent me this wig. And yeah, go watch that video, but y'all this is probably the best natural looking wig I've ever worn. I thought it was going to be different and um, I really like it. My mama just came in my room and she asked me when she going to be able to wear it. So yeah, we're going to get some wear out of this wig because I'm going to let her wear it after I wear it. And um, Another thing, I included an unboxing. Um, after I unboxed it, I really didn't like the smell of it, but I just let it soak in some conditioner. Um, and yeah, I really like it. I just sprayed it with a water bottle. Y'all will see the entire process of me installing and kind of styling this video, but if you watch my wig videos, by now you know that I love curly wigs. Um, I have so many curly wigs on my channel, so thank you, Tanache Hair. Thank you. Okay, so I did forget to say in the intro that I did not bleach my knots. If you watch my videos, you know that I bleached the knots to all my wigs, but I just didn't feel like doing it, nor did I really have time to do it. So I just decided to pluck my lace um, around the hairline, but I didn't pluck the part. And then, um, yeah, that's really all I did to the wig is just pluck the hairline. This was like probably the, the easiest wig install I've ever done. So like I said in the intro, I hated the way this wig smelled. So if you have a wig that just don't smell good, make sure you just soak it in some conditioner and it should be good. And that's what I did to this wig. Just like in all of my wig install videos, I cut the lace off before I apply it. I don't see how um, most of these YouTubers install their wigs and then cut the lace off. That's just... Um, I don't know it's always been difficult for me to do so i just cut the lace off before i install it and i always use my got to be glue because i mean it's the best glue that you can use especially if you're somebody like me who don't like their wigs to be on all day like after i'm done with these videos i always take my wigs off so just use got to be glue because they hold the wig but it doesn't like permanently put the wig on your head for a week or two because that's just not the install that i was trying to get out of this hair Another tip I want to give is that um, if you're having trouble with installing your frontals, try to always glue down that middle section first and then blow dry it and make sure that's dry and then do the end flaps. Like I see a lot of people, they just put glue all around their forehead or their hairline and then they put the wig on and then their wig have like these little air bubbles in it. So just make sure you focus on that middle section first and then once that middle section is dry, just go ahead and do your, your end flaps. But one thing I always do when I wear curly wigs is that um i don't really care to melt the lace on the ends as long as it's melted in the middle where people can see my part that's what i'm focused on the end flaps i just make sure they're down like they don't have to be melted into my lace because i don't care to do that for the end flaps because nobody's gonna see it Thing you see me do from here on out is very self-explanatory but I did want to show that I put conditioner on the hair first and then I spray it with a water bottle um, they just make sure that the hair really like get its definition and stuff like that
so again thank you to nasha hair for sending me this wig all of the details about the wig will be in the description box and make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment if you want to um yeah just interact 